So this is just a really short kind of off the cuff video that I wanted to make because I was looking through, you know, this is the, actually the wrong version of docs. I was looking through, uh, the, you know, the what's new in Python 3.10 earlier while I was planning the Python 3.10 video that came out last week. And I saw, you know, I was, I was scrolling down, I was scrolling down and I'd have been using argpass a lot because I'm building, you know, a command line utility at the moment. And there was this, you know, a change in argpass. I thought, oh, that's cool. Uh, misleading phrase, optional arguments was replaced with options in argpass help. Some tests might require adaptation if they rely on exact output match. Now this is a very, very small bug. Is it even worth calling it a bug? I don't know. I just put it in the title because you know, that's what you do, I suppose. Um, but the really interesting thing about this are these numbers here. So you see uh, BPO, I'm not sure what these stand for, but this is sort of like a GitHub issue, I suppose. So when someone has an issue, you know, they uh, flag it on, on the Python notice boards and it comes up as a BPO number. So this one up here, this async one is 41332. This one here is 31956 and you got this one down here, 2416 naught. For this one, 9694. I was thinking that's a very low number. So I clicked on it to get to the message boards and they look awful by the way. But you can see that's the uh, created on the 26th of August, 2010. This issue has been open for 21 years. Well, it was open for over 21 years, actually, I think. Oh, is that the 8th? Oh, the 8th of January. Oh, no, because there was actually a, a secondary issue that was open later. So, <laughs> and this is, it's just baffling to me how one line can, I was, I was thinking I might actually, I can probably show you real quick. I'll just bring up the project that was actually using uh, argpass, if it actually wants to do anything about it. There we go. But I'll just do this real quick and then do, so go into the virtual environment and then just run the command. You'll see this um, down here is options. So this is what was changed. So this used to say optional arguments, but now says options. And this is what uh, people were complaining about all the way back in 2010. I think that was the year that Python 3.2 was released. Let me just double check that. Python 3.2 was released in 2011. This came out, this, this must have come out in one of the 3.2 development ones because ArgPulse was new in 3.2. Um, so yeah, this must have come out before Python 3.2 even released. <laughs> Which is, unless, unless ArgPass was earlier than that, I thought it was 3.2, it might have been 3.1, I'm not 100% sure. But either way, um, it says the ArgPass module lists required arguments as optional in the default help message. So you have this, you know, optional arguments, if it has required arguments, it also puts those there. But this one has been requ uh, marked required equals true, and it says this is required, but is considered an optional argument by the help command. And you know what follows is a is a is a reasonable discussion. This is also applies to 3.2. Maybe this is a 2.7 thing. I'm not sure. Um, you know what follows is a is a reasonable discussion about this, which just ends and it is brought back up on March 2011. So a little after Python 3.2 has released. Um, you know, someone suggesting flag arguments here. And it goes, it goes another year and four months. Um, you know, documentation patch is still welcome. And then we go back to, you have required arguments. Yes. Yeah, so, and now we're talking about calling required arguments and then optional arguments down here. Uh, this was 2014. So January, 2014. So I'm pretty sure at this point, Python 3.4 was out, let me have a look. Python 3.4 was released, yeah, March 16th, 2014. So we're now two or three versions after ArgPass was released and the issue still hasn't been fixed. <laughs> um, you know, still going, still going, still going. You know, this, this, this actually keeps up for quite a while for 2014 and there's kind of a, a, a bit of a gap for over half a year. Um, and then it goes on, and then you have one in May 2015, and then another one in March 2016. 
Uh, and then there's a few there. And then I think yeah, it jumps to 2018. So this is two years and six months after the after the previous message. A whole eight years after the issue was open to begin with. And it still hasn't been fixed. I'm look I'm just looking at this now in awe. And it went out in 2020, and there's still we're still it's and and this is where we're talking about marking this as 3.10 only. Because they're saying it will it will likely break tests. Which it does. It broke tests for I think three libraries in total. Uh, I think IPython was actually one of them. And there's a suggestion at some point let's use an option instead of optional arguments. I'm not sure when that was suggested. Let me see if I can find Eric. Uh, can I just do options? Just do options. This is so. This was this was 2010. It was first mentioned in 2010. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So, 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 that, so, so now we're using a, <laughs> a solution that was. This, so it was a bug that was fixed eleven years ago, and I've only just implemented it. It's just, it's just fascinating, just how long it took. And then you got issue four two eight seven noughts. This was closed in January twenty one, and this oh, it's only four days later. But I'm, I'm sitting here reading through this, thinking, well, it took, it took them from three point two to three point ten to think about this. And I looked at this, and I had thought about it before. Wait, when did Python 3.1? Hang on. Python arg. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the information through some simple sources uh, like this. I'm pretty sure it was Python 3.2 that it came in. Uh, arg pass. Oh, it's not going to find it. Oh, what's new in Python 3.2? There we go. Yeah, argpass command line passing module. Yeah, so a new module for command line passing argpass was introduced, introduced to overcome the limitations of optpass. Or maybe it was a problem with optpass as well. In which case... <laughs> Hang on. Deprecation 3.2. Did this do the same thing? Oh, this, this had options! <laughs> what? So opt opt pass had options, but <laughs> I'm oh my god that it, the the hole just keeps going deeper and deeper. Why did they change that? It was options and opt pass, and then they changed it to um they changed it to optional arguments in arg pass, which is then immediately complained about, and then spent eleven years unfixed. Yeah, optional arguments. <laughs> I'm genuinely astonished. Huh. Well then. That's an interesting one. Uh, so yeah, that was just really quick little video describing this really weird thing. This really weird thing that genuinely no one except me cares about. But that's so bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, it's just this weird thing that took over 11 years to fix. Or well, actually, not I say over 11 years, it was probably closer to 10 uh, in reality. About 10 and a half years. But yeah, that's, that's nuts. <laughs> that's absolutely nuts. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> of course, as with every video, I'd like to thank my amazing patrons on screen now. One pound a month and you can be on that screen too. And I will see you in the future for other tutorials and other weird stuff like this, I suppose. So I'll see you for that.